Okay, so this is the moment, the moment of truth, where 90% of Wall Street analysts are going to lose their fucking job. And the reason they're going to lose their job is because they're still telling you to buy the fucking dip. And there's very, very few. And I mean, probably, I'm very conservative on this number. There's probably not 90% of people on Wall Street that are telling you to buy the dip. There's still probably 99 uh, percent of people on Wall Street telling you to buy the dip, but there is just a few, a few analysts that are going to keep their fucking job. Certainly not the guys that are telling you to buy AVGO at nine hundred dollars. Okay, telling you this shit is going to go to a thousand or fifteen hundred. Okay, forget those moments in the market. Forget about the guy who tells you the market is going to go to five thousand. I've told you. A million times in the last three months, the market's got zero fucking chance to go to 5,000 points on S&P 500. Now, the subject of this video, okay, is the moment. The moment in the market where everyone sells. Now, those moments in the market are rare because normally you would see a situation where they would sell a part of the market. They would sell a sector of the market in order to buy the other sector of the market. So oftentimes you would hear in the news, well, or they're selling uh, certain type of stocks to go into the technology sector. Or oh, they're selling technology stocks to go into the uh, high paying dividend stocks. Okay, none of that shit is going to matter in the next two weeks to 90 days because I'm telling you now that they will sell everything, okay? They will sell the technology stocks. They will sell the dividend paying stocks, okay? They will sell gold. They will sell Bitcoin. They will fucking sell everything, and the number one reason that they will sell everything because there is a liquidity crisis going on right now as I'm recording this on October 3rd, 2023, that 99% of the Wall Street analysts are absolutely blind about and they refuse to acknowledge. So this is an opportunity for you. An average fucking Joe that is trading options from your laptop at your house. Fucking you, you. I mean, you may be trading from your cell phone. I don't give a shit. The point is you're about to beat all the fucking Wall Street analysts because you are with 13 market moves. And 13 market moves are about to make history, guys. Again, predicting the shit that Wall Street didn't see coming. See, those are the beautiful moments, okay, where, you know, the majority of the people make you believe if you listen to the news, if you listen to the general media, they will hype you up about shit that's it's got like 0% probability of happening, okay? And here comes 13 market moves because we don't pay attention to this kind of bullshit. We pay attention to the shit that really matters, such as divergences on the charts, which is why I'm here to tell you the market has a very high probability of dropping the fuck out 30 to 40% in the next few weeks. You heard me right. This is October 3rd. And I know I've said it in a few prior messages that this could be somewhat coincidental that October 1987 would be repeated in October 2023. But I think the probability and everything we're looking at right now as far as charge, as far as behavioral patterns, as far as institutional investors getting the fuck out of stocks. They're not just getting out of any particular sector and rotating money into another sector. What they're doing is they're getting the fuck out. They're getting the fuck out of solar stocks, which, guys, hello, not so long ago, I posted the video, FSLR, I said shorted, and it was at $210. Guess where FSLR is at today? 149 
Okay, guys, these are some phenomenal opportunities, guys. If you listen to some of our videos throughout the year, SEDG was at almost $400. Where is it today, guys? It's about to hit 100 Okay, well, what, what about ENPH? Damn right. If you're asking me about ENPH, you've heard some of the videos I've posted saying, look, people don't fucking sell a good thing for no reason. Which at the moment, a few months ago, ENPH was a good thing. And no longer it is. So there you go. From 300 to what? Close to 100? Holy shit. How do we see it coming here at 13 market moves? But these trades are happening now, guys. They are unloading some of these solid stocks at the speed of light. And you'll be saying, okay, Leo, you've got the solid stocks. You've got the oil. You've got you got some major fucking predictions at 13 market moves this year that 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 nobody saw. But what can I do now? Guys, I'm telling you, earlier I posted some videos on travel stocks. And do you know how many people have approached me when BKNG or Priceline was like at 2400 they, they were like, Leo, we got to short it. I'm like, no, this is not the time. This is not the time you short BKNG. It goes to 2500 2600 2800 I've got like guys jumping at me. Leo, we got to short it. I'm like, fuck no, don't short BKNG. Stay away from it. I mean, it goes to 3000 Guess what? My my freaking phone is blowing up. People are like, Leo, this is a gold mile. Let's fucking short it. No, no, not yet. It goes to 32, 3300. I say, fuck it. Let's do it now. Okay, so timing is everything. And guys, I mean, it's not sometimes just about the level, but when you trade the options, it's about it's about the speed of the drop. See, options depend on timing. If you buy them too far out, e even if you're right, you're not going to make shit. It, it's about timing. And most of the people will tell you you can't get fucking timing right until you come to 30 market moves and you realize, oh my God, you actually can get timing right? Whoa. So, you know, you're going to be mesmerized by some of these fucking trades. And the, like some of the trades we've put together this year, they're like, oh my God, there's no fucking way. Okay, what about tree? T R E E, uh, like a, a, tree, a landing tree. Okay, <sighs> the stock was at like 400, 300 in the last couple of years. We kept shorting it. I'm like, look, at, at, the, at the prices the real estate sells for, there's two things that need to take place. Okay, yeah, I have fucking. Uh, interest rates where somebody pays you to go fucking buy a house, okay? Or, you know, the prices on real estate just have to fucking drop. So the letter has not happened yet, which it fucking will. So uh, if you're listening to this message, if you can go sell your fucking house tomorrow, okay, fucking sell it because what I'm telling you in the next 12 to 24 months, there's going to be so many foreclosures. It's going to make the aftermath of 2008 look pale. Yes, I dare to say that because, guys, this shit is like, we've never seen this shit. We've never seen the combination of a 2008, okay? And we, we've never seen the combination of a 2008, and the current market conditions combined. It's like 2008 and 1987, October combined. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about. And the market has never seen that. The market has never seen that kind of shit. Why? Because the market has never seen an interest rate going from 0 to 6%. And so everybody's like, yeah, but we got the jobs. But guess who gives a fuck? The job, like there's going to be so many unemployed people in the next 12 months. What are they going to say? For a while, you can masquerade the job numbers. For a while, you could make things appear 
appear as if they are not, but the truth catches on. So all these goddamn politicians, okay, all these bullshit, okay, here's a chance for you, okay, as a guy, like, as a guy, as a normal guy, as a normal person, here's a chance for you to experience the power acceleration, because nothing these fuckers can do, nothing the system can do, okay, to stop you from fucking blowing up to the moon right now, right now you can take nothing and take it all the way to the moon in a matter of days, in a matter of weeks, guys, I mean, if you are the kind of guy, I mean, if you Guys, if, if you're a guy like me, okay, who absolutely, okay, hates the bullshit, hates the fake fucking numbers that these guys keep posting, oh, the jobs, they keep going higher, oh, the job rate, it, it's lower, it's fucking bullshit, you can't believe those numbers, number one, they're fake as fuck, okay, Microsoft's been laying off people, okay, every big, co- Amazon's been laying off people, everyone's been fucking firing people right and left, and yet unemployment rate is at the lowest, well, you gotta be an absolute idiot to believe these numbers, but let's say, okay, let's say these numbers are correct, let's give these fuckers the benefit of the doubt, okay, what is actually going on? is they're not going to be able to masquerade those numbers no more. So we're going to go from like, oh, we just had the lowest fucking unemployment number in the world. And now it's going to go to like, oh my God, this shit, this unemployment rate is accelerating at the speed of light. And those numbers are not going to be able to be hidden. And the truth is about to, guys, we're about to see the truth. I just, there's no other way to say it. We are about to witness the truth. So the government, you know, all, you know, they'll, they'll tell you, look, uh, you, you guys, I, I don't want to get into this pot- political discussion here. All I'm going to say is the market is about to get fucked. And as an individual, you have a chance to succeed. Uh, the fact that, uh, certain components of the market are breaking, such as we're witnessing today that the bond market is collapsing. It's it's the first domino in a number of dominoes that are about to fall. So uh, the bond market collapse is just the beginning. It's It's the beginning of the collapse of everything, which means big institutional investors that were heavily buying bonds, they're fucked because now they were fucking pennies on the dollar. Okay, we've seen this shit happen, like what, not so long ago, 10 months ago, but guess what? Nobody paid any fucking attention. They went and bought the fucking market anyway. They said, well, there's just a few banks and, uh, well, there's just a few banks and they're regional banks, but wait till you see that there are major banks that will need to be bailed out in the next 12 months. I mean, I'm talking about major fucking institutional banks like BlackRock, okay? Uh, I'm talking about Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, these names, okay? There is a chance these fuckers will need to be bailed out, okay? And People are going to think, Leo, you're fucking crazy. It's October 3rd, 2023. You're talking about some some of the banks that has held up over the last few hundred years that you think are going to need to be bailed out. And I'm saying yes. Okay. The circumstances are such that if you're a business owner, okay, if you're a homeowner, uh, and you're going to need a loan next week, there is a chance you will go to a bank. And it doesn't matter if your FICO score is 800 or above. And it doesn't matter if you got cash in the bank. And it doesn't matter if you got equity in your home. They will tell you to fuck off. Because simply, they're not going to make any loans. Okay, there is a point where the system breaks. There is a point where, okay, things 
they don't the mechanism that they've been trying to smooth over and over and over the mechanism doesn't work anymore and this is the fucking moment i'm telling you that you're about to witness some shit in not so distant future within days within a few weeks and you're going to be like holy fuck can this even be possible i'm telling you that we're about to go from this market being very peaceful as overall it's just been going nowhere but higher in the last 10 months and you're about to see some shit that you've never seen before uh at paul tudor jones have seen it in 1987 and i'm telling you this is the moment again this is this is very few moments like if you if you're a trader uh if if you leave and breathe the markets, this is the kind of moment that you have. This is the fucking moment. This is it. This is the moment when everyone sells. This is the moment where all the institution investors and analysts, they have been feeding you a bunch of fucking lies. This is the moment where they sell. And this is the moment where a guy that understands all the fucking lies that they have been feeding you, okay, you short the fuck out of their lies, okay, and you fucking win big. I don't mean a few hundred dollars. I don't mean a few thousand dollars. I don't mean a few hundred thousand dollars. You take this moment you win big okay these institutional investors they will fucking suffer now i feel sorry for those of you that have a 401k you go cash that shit out tomorrow you go sell your fucking house tomorrow because fast forward 12 months from now your 401k is going to be down fucking 50%. It's going to be down 70%. Your house, guys, you got a house that's like 5, 10 million bucks. It's going to be down fucking 60, 70% in value. Now, if you got a house that's like, I don't know, 150K, 200K, I don't even know if you can even buy a house for that much these days, but let's say you own one of those. Okay. You ain't got shit to worry about. Okay. Because, okay, a 200 thousand dollar house hundred fifty thousand dollar house okay even if it goes down i don't know thirty percent you're gonna be okay what i'm saying is if you own a yacht if you own a boat okay that shit's gonna go down by seventy percent in the next 12 months and there's gonna be a lot of boats for repossession there's gonna be a lot of fucking beautiful homes for repossession what I'm telling you, you short the market with 13 market moves and you're going to be able to buy shit for pennies on the dollar in the next 12 to 24 months. Those are the moments. Those are the like 2007. Oh, everything is good. In 2008. Oh, well, fuck. What just the fuck just happened? Uh, those are the moments, okay? 1987, everything is great. Everybody's fucking bullish. Everything just keeps going fucking higher, higher, and higher. And then, oh, what the fuck just happened? The market goes down 30% in one fucking day. We're about to see this. You fuckers, you young fuckers, okay, that been playing the market in the last couple of years, you have never seen any shit like this in your lifetime, Okay, be fucking grateful that you're listening to this message because while an average fucker goes by the dip right now, okay, you get a privilege to short the market with 13 market moves. Okay, you get a privilege to profit from this fucking drop and then you get a privilege to buy it at the bottom because I'm telling you what's about to happen the Fed will have to rescue the banks. It, I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow. I'm not saying it's going to happen next week. In the next 12 months, Fed will have to rescue banks. Okay. I'm not sure if it's going to be regional banks. 
Uh, there's going to be some bigger banks involved. So like uh, ticker symbol PNC, right? Trades $120. That shit's probably going down to $20. $20 from $120. Guys, that's a fucking drop that gets you set for a lifetime. Okay. That kind of shit is about to take place. I'm talking, I'm not talking about ordinary moves in the market. I'm not talking about, there's going to be some major, major pain for some heavy, heavy players. And if you trade it right, you short them and you buy them at the fucking bottom. What most of the people are going to miss that you're listening to, okay, all these goddamn value investors. Okay, they'll tell you, well, wait till the shit drops. What we're here telling you at 13 Market Moves is why don't you short the fuck out of the market right now? You make a ton of money on the way lower. And when the bottom hits, that's where you go with like while the market fucking drops, you can go fucking exponentially high 200x and then you buy the shit at the bottom. Okay, and you're going to know where to buy because I'm going to tell you where the fuck to buy. Okay, I promise you. Okay, Warren Buffett, if he's still around in the next 12, 24 months, okay, he'll be buying some shit. I promise you he's ready for it. Okay, he hasn't been buying a whole lot of shit lately. He's all cash. He's trying to wait for these big fucking deals. Now, Warren Buffett is not known for the big, great short seller. Okay. Uh, but here at 13 Market Moves, we are the whales of fucking short selling. So we're telling you right now is this is a round trip trade. This is the holy grail of fucking trading. You short it. You stay true to your trading. You fucking cash out at the bottom and you go long. And the reason why this would even work is because, of course, the Fed will come to the rescue. It's just a matter of time. See, right now I'm recording this message. It's a little too early. Nobody's nobody's seen any of this shit happen. Nobody's seen a 30% drop. Nobody's seen a 40% drop. Nobody's seen anything right now. But they will be talking about it fast forward next week. Fast forward two weeks. Fast forward three weeks from now. This is October 3rd, guys. This is just the very, very fucking beginning. And those analysts, man, they... Okay, here's the thing. Okay, people will tell you, okay, that... Okay, well, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. And and, and it works for, for a certain amount of time, as long as you're buying the dip within an uptrend. Well, we've told you in the last three months here at Thursday Market Moves, the trend has fucking changed. I've shown you the charts. I've shown you the differences. I've shown you that the downtrend has begun fucking July. And these idiots on Wall Street, they're still buying the dip. But there's going to be a moment, which is now, at which they're going to realize, oh, fuck. Uh we can't be buying the dip no more. We got to sell. And they're going to sell at the same moment. They're going to sell at the same time. They're going to be selling tomorrow. They're going to be selling next week. They're going to be selling for the next few weeks. And this is your fucking chance. This is your chance to beat fucking Wall Street. This is your chance to an average guy who's tired and sick of all the motherfucking lies in the world that the government is feeding you. These fucking Wall Street guys are feeding you. This is it. This is your fucking moment. You rip their fucking throats out, okay, in the middle of this collapse. And you come out ahead, okay, these fucking guys are clueless. They think they can be buying the dip for the rest of their life. Okay, these guys, most of these guys, most of these analysts that are telling you to buy AVGO at 900, they're not going to be around in the next 90 days. These guys are done. They'll never be able to get another fucking job as a fucking stock analyst for the next 100 years. Okay, so guys, this is a very, very rare moment. And what really matters is not just about the amount of money you're going to make in the fucking market if you trade 30 market move style, which is inevitable if you 
if you execute, if you follow, if you do exactly what we're showing you here, if you take all the fucking courses that we teach you and you really dedicate yourself to the information, okay, to, guys, these courses are not based on, uh, on some fucking textbook, okay, these courses are based on real shit, so if you're tired of bullshit, do it. Do it now, okay? Fucking go to thirstymarkmoves.com, schedule a call. Talk to a coach now because if you miss this market conditions, okay, you're going to yeah, there's a chance you may have to wait another 10 years. There's a chance you may have to wait another 20 years. I don't know. Okay, if you can fucking sell your house tomorrow, sell it. If you can cash out your 401k tomorrow, cash it out. None of that shit is going to be worth nowhere what it's worth today in the next 12 months. Okay, so if you can identify those moments where you can cash out at a decent price and come back and buy the shit at the bottom, guys... That that's the recipe. That is the fucking recipe. Okay, you don't have to do a lot of crazy shit. You just cash out while while the prices are high, and you buy the shit at the bottom. Okay, and there's many signals we will give you here at Thirsty Market Moves to buy the stuff at the bottom. It's not that difficult. If, if you if you have any doubt in your mind, I dare you go through the videos on our channel here at Thirsty Market Moves back to the COVID crisis. And when everybody thought the world was about to fall apart, we told you to buy calls. The videos are there, okay? They're time stamped, okay? Nobody does it better than us. When it comes to fucking time in the market, where are the fucking bee's knees, okay? And f- for some of you young guys, you don't fucking know what that is, so go look that up. But uh, the point of this message again is this is the moment. This is the moment when everyone sells. This is the moment when all the lies that they've been able to hide are coming to the surface. And this is your moment to take advantage and stay real with the truth. Which is the truth. It's all we've been trying to show you here at Third Market Moves is the truth. The truth 100% of the fucking time. The truth. Not the news. Not the bullshit news. Not the lies. Guys, you short the lies. You short the news. You stay true to yourself. And most of the people in your life, they're going to be making it very difficult for you to stay true to yourself. That's just a fact. That's a fact. Okay. Uh, recently, I watched this uh, film. I, I was not big on watching uh, films, but there's a good film about racing. I love racing. So uh, there's uh, there's a young kid who's playing video games, and uh, you know he 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 his father thinks there's something wrong with him because. Well, you know, his older brother, he's into sports, he's playing uh, football, and he's great at it, and, you know, they're like, hey, dude, come play with us, and the guy's like, no, hell with you, I just want to play video games, so his dad thinks there's something wrong with with his youngest son, he's giving him shit, and one day, basically, uh, the kid is playing a video game, it's a racing video game, and his dad says, well, why are you... Not staying within the lines. Like, you know, you're li- like, it's such a huge message. I don't know if you watched that movie. But the point is, his dad walks in there and he says, like, why aren't you staying within the lines? And, and, and the kid tells him, like, look, dad, uh, I'm, a, I'm a racer. And I've identified an opportunity in this game where instead of following the lines, if I just go outside of the lines, I have a chance to beat this fucking game. And the remarkable part about it is the guy goes out in real life. He becomes a real uh, racer. Uh, and 
not not immediately, but after like a number of successes uh, in in misfortunes, uh, he gets into an accident, almost gets killed, all kinds of crazy shit and drama going on. But the bottom line is this, guys. Okay, the guy fucking comes. He comes first in Le Mans race in France. It's like for those of you that understand racing, like Le Mans, fuck you. You fucking win Le Mans. You you're the shit. Okay, you're the bee's knees. Okay, so basically, the guy fucking makes it happen from video games when his dad gives him shit. Okay, when his brother is laughing at him, like some of the closest people are gonna give you shit about trading, and they were gonna be telling you like, why do you do this? Okay, you've lost money in this. Why don't you go do something that is within? the lines within norm within this why don't you just stay within the fucking lines there's a moment in the movie when dad takes him to like a regular job site and and the kid is asking him like what the fuck am i doing here and he says like this is what's going to happen to you if if you don't stop uh playing your video games and shit and the kid is like man fuck it i'm like I love driving. I love racing. This is my life. Okay. And he wouldn't change his mind despite of how much shit his dad gives him that day. And he makes it. He makes it because he has a strong power of his mind. He knows what he wants in life. And unfortunately, I think when it comes to trading... There's a lot of people that are really close to you. They're going to be giving you a lot of shit. Okay. They're going to challenge your mind. Uh, and, you know, at that moment, if you really believe like this is what you're meant to be doing, you cannot give in. Okay. And that's how you will achieve greatness. You cannot like, look, the reality is I've traded with some guys. Okay. Uh that that were committed to trading and gave in that had huge potential uh but they fucking gave in because their wife gave them shit uh their their girlfriend gave them shit they couldn't hand in there uh and and that's a problem because i mean the reality is they're not going to stay with their girlfriend they're not going to stay with that wife because if trading is really their calling if trading is really what you're meant to be doing Okay, like if you're going to sacrifice that and you're just going to be going based on what your wife wants you to do or your girlfriend wants you to do, you're going to lose a part of yourself. Okay, so this is the moment you got to ask yourself a question. Okay, well, I mean, what is more important to me? And yes, you will lose a girlfriend. You will lose a a wife. And in some instances, I had uh, uh, girl traders that lost a husband. Oh, well, they're trading. And and guys, this this is some crazy shit. If you're like an average guy listening to this, like, well, I'm not losing my wife. And you know, if you're a girl trader, like, well, I'm not losing my husband over trading. But okay, what is your commitment level? Okay, wh- what is that you really want to do in life? Because if you want to be fucking great at something, okay, don't expect it to come at no cost. There's going to be some great costs along the way. You got to make a decision. Okay, what do you want to do? Somebody going to give you shit about it. Could be your dad, could be your your girlfriend, could be uh, your husband, could be whatever your situation is. What I'm saying is, do you deep down inside know that you're meant to be a traitor? Do you understand it? Okay, do you understand that the cost of being a traitor and pursuing something that is ingrained inside of you that is going to come with a lot of costs do you understand that do you understand that there is a price to pay do you understand that it's not going to be easy do you understand it's not about making 100 500 dollars a day do you understand it's about pursuing a greater cause do you really understand these things are you really prepared to persevere the fucking pain that you will have to go through in order to be 100% happy, 100% individual. Like if you're not meant to do trading, like if you stop trading tomorrow, you're going to be fucking totally fine. No, no big deal. But for some of us, it's not like that. Okay. It is something that we pursue. 
And no one can take that away from us. Okay, certainly, okay, a girlfriend can be replaced. Okay, a wife that does not support you, that does not understand you 100%, okay, maybe she likes certain things about you and that's why she married you, but she doesn't get this part of you that you're meant to be a great fucking traitor, okay, then she only loves a part of you. She doesn't understand the whole part of you. She doesn't ha- She doesn't understand your whole being. And so, guys, there's some heavy losses to be taken. There's some... There's some major decisions you got to make. But all these people that's been giving you shit, okay? Maybe your family, maybe maybe your girlfriend, maybe your wife, guys. Guess what? They will all understand what it was about when you're finally at the top. And this is the moment where you can be at the top. This is the moment. This is your moment. When everyone is selling. Which means all the lies that they have been feeding you. Okay. They're about to come to an end. And you're going to shirt the fuck out of this market with 13 market moves. And you're going to come out on top. And then... Your ex-girlfriend, she's going to be calling you fucking 20 times a day. And guess what? You're going to be too busy to be picking up that bullshit phone call because she was nowhere around. She was the one giving you shit about your trading at that moment. Guess what the fuck? She's going to see a uh, Instagram picture, you and four other hot girls. I mean, she's going to have no choice but to fucking call you. That's just the way the the world works. But guys, that is just the byproduct of you staying strong, understanding the lies that the world is fitting you, okay? Being bigger than fucking that, okay? Standing strong when the rest of the world is falling apart and understanding that this is your fucking moment. The moment everyone sells is the moment you make it big as a short seller. So you've been trying to figure out how to make money short selling the markets. This is the moment of greatness for you. There's some magnificent trades I tried to post some videos earlier about a few ideas that we've got going here, 30 market moves. But if you want an in-depth understanding, if you want our next greatest fucking idea, if you want an idea that's going to take you from 10K to fucking 2 mil, you get in touch with us today. You waste no fucking time, okay? This is the moment when everyone sells. And this is the moment where you win big. So grab your balls, schedule a call, talk to your 13 Market Moves coach today, and enough is enough. Enough of fucking excuses. Enough of people giving you shit about your trading. This is the fucking moment you go big. And I invite you to do it. Go big with 13 market moves. We're the experts of short selling. Let's go big together. 13mmtv.com, 13marketmoves.com, guys. I'll see you when you hit 5 million plus. Let's roll.